Hey everybody, Big Rick Steve here with Big Rick Travels like God. It's now two minutes after midnight. I should be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I should be sleeping. I just got done with a pork pork chop sandwich. A very expensive pork chop sandwich. We're out here in where are we? Atlanta, Georgia, tonight, and today is February 8th, 2018, but 10 years ago this date, <clears throat> 10 years ago this date, we actually launched BigRigTravels.com. We started out with 2,000 photographs and a little still camera that updated a still image every 30 seconds. And Greg Treadway just sent me a message on Facebook. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 10 years is a long time for, for a website, for anything. You know, you stay at a job for 10 years, or you stay in your house for 10 years, or whatever. 10 years, a decade, is a long time. And seeing that I'm 53 now, that means it's pretty much 20% of my life I've spent doing a website. Is that right? Yeah, pretty close. Close enough. So, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, give you some thoughts about the 10 years. We actually went trucking for a year and a half before I started the website. Wanted to get used to trucking, all that stuff, and uh, I've always been in into photography, always been into broadcasting, radio, television, film, all that type of stuff. Trucking, I like trucking, I like the adventure, I like to travel. And so it just made sense to stick a camera and build a website that has photography and broadcasting and me enjoying my travels across America. And it all just kind of fit together. The perfect perfect combination of some of my favorite things. And it all goes into a website. And I decided to let y'all come along. And I did not know that we would just explode as big as we have. I don't know how many other YouTube truckers have been broadcasting for 10 years, but I do know that we have the most, uh, I can't think of the word for it, the most complete website for broadcasting live, you know. Yes, there are trucking forums and trucking websites that talk about the political side of things but <clears throat> I stay away from that I I'm about the travel side thus the photography and, and the videos and and all this stuff when we started out we when we we didn't start the live feed until about a month or two after that so about February March April I think first part of May we started broadcasting live <clears throat> and we had, I don't know, a bitty square like this. Yeah, a little square like that. <laughs> and the most viewers we could have was 25 at one time. I used to have the web camera and it was attached to the laptop. Had a plug-in, and I tell you what, you guys think you have buffering now. 
in isolated areas. You had to be in a big city to be able to broadcast them. Now look at us. We broadcast in HD. And as we rolled through Albuquerque, we had an all-time record of 422 simultaneous viewers. 422 people in this truck with me. <laughs> That's a lot of elbowing and, and kicking and pinching and all that other stuff. There's a lot of people in the truck watching me drive. And uh, I like it. That tells me people approve of what I'm doing. <clears throat> and we are family friendly, kids safe. You, you know all that stuff. We don't put up with uh, any garbage. You can find that on some other channel. We don't hoot and holler and all that stuff. Uh, we stick to the basics of showing you America. We are probably slow TV in its truest form. No staged actors, no staged situations. What you see is what a truck driver lives. Day in, day out. I broadcast if it's sunny. I broadcast if it's raining. I broadcast in the snow. Uh, dark. Even though you can't see anything. I believe in broadcasting. If I'm driving, we're going to be broadcasting. Because that shows you what the real life of a truck driver is. We talk about delays at the shipper, del delays at del delivery, if I could talk, and all that stuff. We talk about it all uh, just so you guys get an idea of what the life of a true trucker is. Like I said, we don't get into all the politics and all this other stuff. Um, in the last 10 years, I remember the first time that the website started to gain traction. In fact, I was at the Flying J in Tulsa, Oklahoma in August of 2009. So we're talking like a year and a half after we started the website. I looked at my laptop to see how many people were watching the cameras as I pulled in and it showed that we were offline. And the only way you could be offline at that time, the setup that we had, was if too many people were trying to view. So I looked it up, and then and then I, my inbox on the email for the website started to just scroll through with emails coming in every few seconds. And then that's when I put two and two together reading emails and found out that the Brazilian TV show called Fantastico on a Sunday night did a story on us about the web camera and, and all this other stuff so later on I looked at the analytics for the website and we had 5,000 hits on the website when we were only designed for 25 viewers at a time so so that that uh, that to me that was pretty amazing since then, we have been voted as one of the top 10, 10 webcams of the year for EarthCam. That was back in 2008. We've been on MSN. We've been on WGN, Chicago. Uh, a radio station, our TV station in Ohio. Shreveport. Oh, and I think like a whole bunch others. Uh, I was asked to be a guest on a Utah radio station, but I declined that for my own personal reasons, which we won't go into. Uh, let's just say they didn't agree with the way I run the website. <laughs> or our thought processes weren't the same, I guess. And that's my right, you know. Uh family friendly, kids safe, that's that's what's most important to me. Let's see, we 
earlier this year driving through Montana. We were uh, simultaneously broadcast live on the Weather Channel. They tapped into our feed and they were showing us driving live through Livingston, Montana during a blizzard and whiteout conditions. Uh, ABC News, if you look at ABC News online, sometimes they will have our cameras streaming, especially like on the weekends. Um, PC World Magazine did a story on us. Trucker News did a story on us. And in fact, I got a conference call tomorrow about another interview. So we, over the year, last 10 years, have been around the block. And when I made the website, I thought, okay, maybe a few people would want to watch me drive. <laughs> I didn't know that it would explode into what it did. Uh, just, I... To me, it amazes me. Why everybody wants to watch me drive, I don't know. But over the years, I have met a lot of you road crew members. The stories that you guys tell me uh, through email or, or whatever the case may be. The stories you guys tell me of how you found me, when you found me, how long you've been following. And I actually... I never knew all the ways that Bigger Travels or my website could be used. I remember, I don't remember where, but I remember a dad wrote me an email and said that his daughter was going to get a driver's license, but before he allowed that, she used to sit, and, or both of them used to sit and watch me drive. Basically, they were looking for the goober snorts driving in front of me so he was actually re instructing her what to do and what not to do and what to look out for just by me driving and I tell you what I thought that was a good idea a classroom in Florida once used me for math how far many miles we got, how many miles per gallon we get, uh, just anything to do with the number side of stuff. Another geography class, because they put up a map, and they go, okay, Steve is here, and Steve is going there, and so it taught a lot of geography, and a lot of you guys learned geography based upon looking at the trip maps that we put up and all that. Uh... I remember Shreveport, Louisiana, at the Petro there. One lady told me that, uh, I believe if the story is right, her son brought in a laptop and put my camera or the website up on a screen in the hospital. And I was her window to the world, if you will, while she was recuperating in the hospital. It's, it's uses like that that never crossed my mind when I made the website. But if it helps people, if it helps people with their education of America or the highway system or the way trucking is or whatever the case may be, or if it's as simple as the Brazilians send me a lot of emails. They never will get a chance to visit America. But I show them America every day. Uh, we have been in every country except for South Korea, or North Korea. Every country. Countries that I never knew existed, much less had a computer. <laughs> But we've been around the block. Uh, I continue to get emails. People are finding us every day. And 
a lot of you guys never make a comment on YouTube, never make a comment on the blog, but I know you're out there. There's far more of you that watch in the background than there are chatting or, or making a public I don't know, appearance, I guess is what you could call it. And that's fine too. If, if you're watching the cameras, you don't have to chat. You don't have to do the blog. You don't have to do anything. I'm here regardless. And even though the uh, videos have commercials in there and the website has ads, that's basically out of necessity. Running this setup, two cameras and broadcasting day and night and all that stuff, it's about $550 a month to run and yeah that does come out of my pocket you guys have met or exceeded what it cost me to run the website every single month and for that I appreciate it you guys what was it last month I got a ticket for $50 from Utah and I was whining whining about it on the live broadcast when I shut down for that day, I counted over $700 donated to me to cover the $50 fine. Uh, you guys are the best. You guys have made the website what it is. Yeah, I drive. I understand. I drive. I got the cameras. But you guys are what makes Bigger and Travels continue. I like reading your emails, even though I don't answer very often. Because there's a whole bunch more of you than there is of me. <laughs> but we've come a long way. We, we really have. We introduced Segway videos. We, I'm starting to try to introduce drone videos to give you aerial shots of truck stops and, and whatnot like that. I'm still trying to learn how to fly. Uh, over the years, we've done, we've tried several things. Some worked, some didn't. Anybody remember the uh, talk shoe live calling radio show that I tried? <laughs> that that was a good idea we did one show and it was a disaster in my opinion it was a disaster because we couldn't keep the signal and so we kept getting dead air when we were broadcasting and, and recording into uh, into the podcast or whatever and I think that shied me away from doing that maybe I'll bring it back I think that might be kind of cool, actually. Uh, over the years, e as each year goes by, we are able to broadcast in areas that used to be total dead spots. So the technology is getting a lot better. Uh, in the last couple of years, we added the trip tracker and the progress bar and the live GPS and a speedometer. I don't know of any other website that has a live speedometer. I think we offer the biggest trucking website for travel live broadcasting than anybody else. And I'm pretty proud of that. But 10 years, you know, that's a lot. We've gone... 1.4 million miles working our way to one and a half million miles we've been through every kind of weather you can imagine of course we had a TK the truck cat she I miss her still she was a perfect trucking companion we literally grew up together I grew up in trucking 
and she grew up as a kitty and if you search through the YouTube channels you'll find some of those videos of TK the truck cat and unfortunately we had to let her go we we she actually was adopted by another road crew member and I believe truck TK the truck cat is back to driving in a truck with another truck driver uh, let's see what else have we had we've done a lot uh, we're working on a new website that should be coming out Monday the Monday the website will actually be down for everything while we install the new website and because of the back side of things that you guys don't see with the website it requires us to bring everything down and more or less restructure everything because when I first started building the website I built it all by myself and I didn't exactly follow the most efficient way of storing files and uh, you know the backside of information the, the backside of a website directories and all that mess and that worked okay but for the 10 year anniversary we're changing the way the backside of the website works and that will allow for future growth a lot easier because I already have a bunch of ideas I want to bring and you guys will see a whole new website set up and so that should happen Monday but when you go to the website you'll it'll be obvious <laughs> it'll be obvious what's going on if, if we're uh, changing that Supposedly, it's going to be an all-day affair. And I have somebody that's going to be doing that while I drive. So, just to let you know, new website coming up on Monday. Celebrating 10 years and a million miles of America. By the way, you guys did wonderful buying all the brand new websites. I want to, I want to thank Steve at uh, Victory Illustrations he's the one who came up with that design on the back well actually and on the front as well and all the t-shirts were printed by Mickey Stevens and uh, Direct Impressions I'm trying to do all this by memory at midnight <laughs> Direct Impressions out of Inglewood, Colorado if you are on Facebook go to their Facebook page Victory Illustrations and or Direct Impressions go ahead leave them a post leave them a comment whatever however you want to call it and tell them hey I'm a road crew member of Big Rig Travels and I bought one of those shirts and I appreciate the high quality printing that you have done that way it gives them some publicity and lets them know that their work is appreciated by more than just me. So, I don't know, what else can we talk about? Ten years. I still can't get over that. Ten years. That's a long time. Seen a lot, done a lot, been everywhere. Got the t-shirt. <laughs> uh, even Aunt, Je Aunt Jemima has come with me. I talk about her quite a bit. Fictional character. But she belongs with us in the truck just like all of y'all. Uh, we're over 3,000 videos now. 
I've had several people help. Uh, Ken out in Lincoln, Nebraska. He does all the titling and the, the descriptions and the keywords and whatnot like that of the videos that you see. So I appreciate that. My buddy Steve out in Arkansas, he's done a lot of work on the videos as well. Some of the graphics for the website. A um, couple other behind the scenes people that I don't think want to be mentioned has, has helped me quite a bit. And I appreciate that from everybody. So whether you're a watcher or a donator or or a commenter or if you spend all day in the uh, chat room <laughs> during a live broadcast and I appreciate each and every one of you we've gained a lot of road crew member other other road crew members have come and gone throughout the years believe it or not life does exist outside of big rig travels I, when I take my three four days off or whatever or when it we are in the shop everybody always hollers Man, I missed you, I missed you, I missed you. I had nothing to do for four days. <laughs> so that... That's good, though. Wow. And don't take long for Coke to go flat. <laughs> I don't like flat Coke. Anyways, ten years... I just wanted to say thank you and our success is based upon you guys sharing our videos telling others about us on your Twitter Facebook Instagram whatever the case may be you guys are the ones that have been spreading the word uh, in fact, something you may not know, a TV show called Epic Spills, or a documentary type thing called Epic Spills, produced by Indigo Films and the Travel Channel. They use 17 of our driving clips for their show. And I can't give the details right now, but we are in talks with another production company that is going to be using some clips of certain of a certain area that will be used in their show I think we're we were two years ago one of our pictures was either on the cover or something like that of the Hillsboro telephone book <laughs> so my pictures have been floating around my videos have showed up in the strangest of places so we offer quite a bit way more uses for me driving than I ever thought you guys would come up with but however you use it make sure it stays family friendly kids safe I know I get some whiners that say well that's not cool everybody else cusses everybody else blah 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 you know what I don't care I would rather have less viewers and be a family friendly kids safe website than to be more popular but then fit in just like everybody else with all the hoot and hollering and noise making we're here to drive across the country. We're not here to hoot and holler and, and all that stuff. And for those select few, which happen to be quite a few, we are not the American Truck Simulator or whatever that game is called. When we broadcast live, <clears throat> and you see that little red light on your uh, video feed that says live down at the bottom, Guess what? Yes, we are broadcasting. Yes, we really are driving. Quite a few people think that we are a 
a simulator truck game. Pre-programmed and all that stuff. They find it impossible to believe that we really are broadcasting live from the open road. But we are. We've been doing it for 10 years. And we're going to keep on doing it. I think I just kind of like rambled on tonight. But I just... I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys, every one of you, whether you just found us today or you found us on day one, February 8, 2008. I just wanted to say thank you. It's been extremely fun for the most part. And hope you guys enjoy the new website. I say I get some sleep so we could go to the shipper tomorrow morning and then off to Texas where there's probably a water burger with my name on it. <laughs> All right, let me post this up for you guys on the blog. It'll be the first blog entry. On our second decade of broadcasting. Wow. Something else. I'm proud of myself. So. But like I said. It was all because of you guys. Alright I'm out of here. I got to get some sleep. I will see you guys. Right here. In this truck. Sitting on the dash. Or in the back. Or sitting in the floor playing dominoes or whatever you guys do while I'm driving. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.